Hi, have you got the problem with the application update rejection? If you wanna learn now how to fix that, just see that video. So let's go to the game it was rejected after the new update with the new SDK version and the new APA level. So what you need to do to go for the app content and on the bottom with the date safety go to the manage and here you need to change couple things so i updated like collection and share of required user data type it's not required so if you use the unity ads you need to check that as yes and author to question you need to answer yes as well okay, i will explain the moment why and here you will get description of the all possible information you can be required with your apps so location personal information financial information health fitness message photos videos audio files calendar contact app activity web browsing app info and performance and devis and author's id how do you will know how to answer this question the best way I find is go to the docs unity com ads google data safety html and here you will have all the information you need to know about what the google play data safety sanction is for the unity ads and here you have everything what unity ads collected whenever you use that in your application so you have the quick survey, like I said, to answer the first three questions, yes. And here, depends of which one exactly you use, have the answer for all the questions. So data types, you have it's collected, share, and payment required, and all the other stuff you need to know. So depend which one you use in your game, you have the answers here in that page i will update the link on below the video so you can always have check and answer your questions so what you need to do you just go here and i like to do it this way so i have them on both sides and you can see so you use the location for example i just use something for my and just scroll to the bottom. Do I need app information? Yes. And it's here. For example, you have the crash log diagnostic author app performance. And here, if you check that on the right, you see does the SDK collect crash log? And you have also no, so you don't need that. Does it collect diagnostic? Yes. So now you take that one and you don't collect the other one. Okay, I will just finish few more things and I will show you later what I'm gonna do next after and I think that's everything for my app so go next and now you will need to answer a few questions and for every single you check in so let's go for the location you can see here and let's start answering the question and like you see on the unity documentation it's collected and shared so you need to select here on the google console that you collect and share that information and the next question is if the data collection is processed ephemerally and you see there's not so check that if the collection is required yes and what uh, is the purpose of the collection of that data type and you have the purpose advertising marketing and you just check that boxes here and save and you see the one it's complete and you need to answer all that question for every single things you check in for your application so i just skip that and show you what you do next and you have and you have the all the question on the right so just make sure you answer through what you use and what will be used in your application
So after you answer all the question, you go for next and now you see what the story links thing preview will look, what the data will be shared, location, information, performance, activity, device or other IDs. And that will show on your Google Play Store whenever someone go to your page and when I download the game, you have all that information as well. And you need to make sure that you also you have the privacy police to your app and all the collection information is included there. So someone wanna go there and check that. So after that, all you need to do is just submit. All the changes have been saved and now you just need to wait. Oh, let me go to the... It's ready to send for the review. Go to publishing overview and now just send that change you did to your application and Google Play will check that and decide if your application is ready to go. Just send that change. And that's it. all I need to do now is just wait and your application go back to the page and be able to download. Hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and share. If you're interested, check other videos from my channel. See you next time. Cheers.